What's up guys, Paparazzi coming at you with a god-awful PSA reveal. Um, I submitted some cards to PSA for autograph authentication before getting into that and all the bad news on that order. Um, I want to showcase a cool card that I picked up here. Um, well, hold on. Let me see if I can make an adjustment here. Oh, check that out. I got a new phone. Um, picked this up from Brian Roth. Uh, B Roth six on YouTube, um, also administers uh, card soup on Facebook. So Brian's the man. This is my first Babe Ruth card, and I'm I'm so stoked. Um, 1932 Sinella. I believe that was a a margin com uh, margarine uh, company. Anyways, this is a type two. It's uh, it's old slab SGC twenty one point five fair. And I mean, it's centered nicely, looks good. It does have a small little pencil mark up here, up in the corner. It says, I think it says 84. And then back here, um, there's some staining and whatnot. Looks like it was glued into a, uh, glued into like a photo album or something at some point. But anyways, thanks, thanks Brian. Appreciate it, man. Happy to have this in the collection. Uh, first Babe Ruth card. And I think that's really my only notable, um, it's my only real notable pre-war card. I don't have much pre-war stuff. So I'm getting into this crazy PSA order, guys. Um, PSA autograph authentication. They took. They said they were going to turn this around in a month. They took about three. So uh, really missed a mark there. Um, and these are all the reject. These are all the rejections. So all the rejections that say the same thing. You know, questionable authenticity. And again, I was authenticating these just for the autographs. Um, so we got a Joe Montana here, another Joe. And uh, for my autograph buddies who, who know, you know, who are good with autographs, let me know if you think these are legit because PSA has been so rejection happy recently that, and then again, I'm also not an autograph expert. Like you tell me, is this auto pen? I mean, this kind of like skipping makes me think it could be auto pen. I don't know. I picked this up for super cheap. Uh, so Rice, I don't think anyone's faking Derek Carr's signature. And it looks right to me. Rejected. Uh, Megatron. Rejected. Uh, Lenny, what do you think, man? Take a look. Let me know if anything, any of these will be good for Beckett. So Lenny is uh, the master of the Cardcast uh, YouTube page. And I work with him on some autograph authentication. Well, he helps me out. Uh, I've used Beckett. And anyways, um, <clears throat> AJ Green. Uh, <laughs> LT. You know, I just got an LT. I just got an LT autograph signing back, you know, probably like six months ago. And this looks spot on to me. I don't know. It might be something I'm missing. Rejected. Uh, DeGrom. Rejected. Uh, I think, the, uh, yeah, Clayton Kershaw. Rejected. And Pete Rose. Who's faking Pete Rose? Got this from an older gentleman who said he got it from Pete. Got it from Pete years back at a show. Looks right to me, but well, let's go ahead and get into the good news. So those were all the rejections, which was a majority of the cards. So this is a P Rose card that I mean, this is a this is a really dumb card to get autographed. Uh, if you ask me, I didn't get this card autographed, but here's that, and then here's this. Obviously, there's some uh, difference in the thickness of the sharpie, but other than that. Looks right to me. You guys tell me. Um, they said this one's good to go. So authentic autograph there. Steve Smith Sr. On a top's finest. Some streaking, not the bit, not the strongest autograph, but got that for like two dollars. I was hope I was really happy to see this. Um, really happy to see this come back. Brad Carew on his uh, 81 Fleer. 
Very cool. Uh, Fergie Jenkins. <laughs> Bought this raw for like $5 and with $1 shipping from a guy that I purchased from pretty regularly on eBay. So Fergie Jenkins, I think that's my only Fergie Jenkins auto. Here's another P Rose. Um, so again, like I, I'm seeing the same thing. Looks, I, I don't know. You guys tell me. Authentic auto here. That's a nice one. Dig that. And this was the this was the only one that I was actually stoked on. Like I, I was <laughs> I was really happy to see this come back. Barry Sanders. Not the strongest autograph. Got a little bit of fading up there at top. Fading or the marker just the sharpie just wasn't just wasn't flowing on his uh, 1990 pro set. This isn't his rookie, but this is you know his second year. Talking about him being the 89 rookie of the year, 89 pro set rookie of the year, and it's a nice card. So I'm stoked on that. But that's it, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Um, yeah, been seeing a lot of PSA rejections. Uh, it's kind of a recurring theme, but we'll see. Still have some stuff sitting there, working on putting together some other orders. So I'll try and come up with some fun stuff to show on the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, Paparazzi talking ball cards. Out of here.